Hello and welcome to this video walkthrough of the uh, OCR AS level H15602 depth in physics sample question paper. This is the specimen paper provided by OCR for the new 2015 specification. Question number one begins with uh, a diagram of a sign hanging from a rod fixed to a vertical wall. Uh, those of you who've done enough practice questions will immediately identify this as probably being a moments question. And it tells us that the uh, weight of the, the rod is 120 newtons and it's acting uh, directly through the center point of the rod and that there's an angle between the wire and the rod of 30 degrees. Part A asks us to explain why the vertical force exerted on the rod by the wire is 60 newtons. So it's talking about this force here, the vertical component of T, which uh, we'll later see as T sine 30 degrees. It's, it's telling us that that is equal to 60 newtons and we need to explain why that is the case. Now we don't know T, so we can't work it out using uh, this relationship. As I said before, this is a moments question, so we need to take moments around a point. Well, we need to decide which point to take moments around. That's usually done by identifying uh, a point where we don't know the force is acting. And that point in this case would be here. Okay, if we take moments around that joint, that allows us to consider this force acting down the weight and the force acting up from the tension. It allows us to neglect the forces that are acting actually at this junction. Take moments around the junction between rod and wall. Now we don't know the length of the rod, but that doesn't matter. So we know that our clockwise moments are going to be equal to our anti-clockwise moments. So clockwise, we have one force acting, which is this 120 Newton force here, which would cause a clockwise turning motion around that point. So we have 120 multiplied by half the length, 0.5L. And that's going to be equal to this force here, which is causing a anti-clockwise turning moment. Calling that T sine 30 for consistency multiplied by L. We can cancel the L's. So it tells us that T sine 30 equals 120 times 0 0.5, which equals 60 newtons. So the force acting vertically from that rod must be 60 newtons. Note that this is an explain question, hence why we've used some words here to explain what we're doing, taking moments around the junction between the rod and the wall. And part B asks us to calculate the tension T in the wire. Well, that's made a lot easier by the notation we've already used. We've already said that T sine 30 is equal to 60 newtons. That T sine 30 is the vertical component of that force. So we could rearrange, we'll get T equals 60 divided by sine 30, which gives us a final value of 120 newtons because sine 30 uh, is 0 0.5. Part CI asks us to draw an arrow in figure 1.1 to show the direction of the force exerted on the rod by the wall. If we look back at our di diagram here, we can see that the forces here are not balanced. We've got one force acting diagonally upwards and to the left, and we've got one force acting down, which means that if we were to draw a triangle of forces, we'd start by picking any, any of the forces. So in this case, 120 newtons for the weight, we draw that here, and then we take the next force, which is T, which is also 120. We turn that along there, and then we find the force that would close up our triangle, which in this case would be this force here, F. So we can see that the direction of that force must be upwards like that. And let's label that F. And finally, part two, state how you chose this direction. So using a triangle of forces, this force is required to close the triangle. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.